Sophia, good morning there. How you doing? Uh, happy after Thanksgiving. And of course, years from now, people wonder what day I did this. Hey, so today I want to talk about adding a um, a warranty to an existing asset. So an asset gets sold to a customer, it goes out, a warranty has not been created for it, but now we want to put a warranty on it. This can be something that can be done because we uh, something happened and the warranty wasn't created that should have been. Maybe we sold them an extended warranty, um, those kinds of things. But the process um, here is how to manually attach a warranty to an existing asset. Now, coming up in calendar year 24, uh, a lot of this will be able to be done through the order management screens. Right now, you can orchestrate an extended warranty using the APIs, like coming in from CPQ or coming in from Salesforce.com, something like that. But the ability to do it through the through the order management uh, user screen is won't be available until sometime in calendar year 24. So in the meantime, if I do have an asset that needs a warranty, I this is kind of the process to go through to create that warranty. So the first thing is I'm here in subscription management. I'm going to go into setup and I'm going to go search for the asset uh, that I know needs to be done. So I come into setup and maintenance. I come over here to um, manage assets under life, asset lifecycle management. There's other places you can get the assets as well. But for subscription people, this is kind of the easiest. Um, I can put in a customer name. I can search on an item, serial, whatever. So my customer is Steel Fitness. So I have three assets out here, and it's this um, 000 serial number that is missing uh, a warranty, let's say, okay? From here, I can also click on the asset number, and it's gonna give me a lot of information about the asset, um, like where is it located? Um, is it set up for maintenance and all kinds of things like that? over here under asset and there's all these uh, tabs that you can set up if you have meters on it and all those kinds of things. But anyway, asset um, is a whole different subject. But so now that we've looked it up, we know it's going to be this 001 and this asset number, by the way, that's like 7890, something like that. So they made that really difficult to, in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that to make it easy. So the next thing, once we have the asset, the, the next thing that we really want to be able to know is what is the warranty that we're going to put on this. And so to get to the warranties, um, we can go into product information management. Um, I can go into the items. Now, I can create warranty items here, um, but I'm just going to kind of search on them at this point. Um, I know that um, I'm just going to ask for warranties, right? make it easy on myself. There'll be all kinds of warranties in here. You have to set it up to the right organization um, or you won't be able to find it. And so we're actually, um, the warranty I want to actually start the WAR. It's a 24 month extended warranty. So here we are uh, with the warranty. Here's the extended for two years. Um, this is it's an included warranty, that's okay. I mean, um, that just means it can be orchestrated from order management directly when it's attached to an asset. But you can also sell it after the fact. You'll notice that um, we have different organizations that some of these warranties reside in. So you know, all these things you need to set up ahead of time. A warranty is an actually a, a type of item. Um, you can set up item classes for them under specifications and then under service is down here under the service contracts because that's what a warranty is, is a contract for service. Um, you can set up the different uh, parameters that are going to be allowed for this particular warranty. It's a two year, it's a fixed duration, you can set up coverage levels, etc. just like a standard warranty. So once you know, um, what you're going to do
Okay, so let's go over to the subscription. And the next thing we need to do is actually create the subscription and then we'll attach the asset to it. So we'll come over here into subscriptions and we'll just go ahead and create a subscription. And my customer, as I said, is Steel. So as I type this, it'll start to go look for it just like it does in order management. I want to make sure I get the correct bill to site, which is going to be in Seattle. Um, and this is going to start on the 1st of uh, November. And it's going to be a 24 month. So I can backdate. Um, this subscription has no price. We're not charging them, the customer for this subscription, but we're setting up the entitlement. So in service, if um, you need to find out whether they have a warranty or whatever, uh, on this item, we can do that. So we'll um, create a 24 month uh, warranty or subscription. We're going to save and continue. And then we're going to add a product to it. And line one, and it's warranty. Um, um ex12 so there's my there's my item number my warranty it's going to be for two years that's what we set up in the um, header we're going to save and continue and then we're going to go to coverage levels um th it's kind of a dumb name this coverage levels um, but that's where you set up assets. Coverages, which is the next line down, this is where you set up, um, what do they get? Um, is this going to be, you know, 24 by 7? Do the parts and labor? Whatever the warranty is, that's where we create coverage levels. So we'll go into covered levels, um, which really is assets. And so we're going to add an asset up here. So we'll click on the add assets and um, R1. I think that's the right serial number. Yep, that's it. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to click OK. And when it gets done spinning, So here you see that the asset is attached um, in draft mode, which is fine. We're going to save and close. I have my line item. It has an asset attached. And so what I do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Um, it'll actually validate it before it activates it. So everything looks good and we're going to activate it. So now this warranty is um, in force. You, this, you could have a, um, you can sell these warranties. So this is being sold. This particular warranty has an $180 per year price, which what that will do is um, um, set up a, 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 a bill to go to the client for the $180. Um, so they'll get an invoice. Um, again, like I said, you can set these up to sell to the customer. They can be free. It's just whatever your business needs are. So that's how you set up a um, a warranty on an existing uh, on an existing asset. I uh, hope this was helpful.